Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of this Let's Play. Now, today we are probably not going to move forward with the story again. However, we are going to probably, most likely, okay, I say probably slash most likely because, you know, I, my, I may not finish. But, um, you know, if we do everything, you know, according to my plan, um, we should be done with all of the side content for now. And, you know, we can move on from the next episode. But, yeah. Okay, so, you know, the first thing, uh, so the so last thing we did was, um, we had to do Poppy's, um, you know, but to finish Poppy's side quest, so let's finish that. Now, what I did is I just did this merge mission, um, like a few times, um, this one, and now I have, uh, um, and, and now I have three of these, well, I actually had four, because I did, you know, use one, so... Yeah, and basically, um, I used it because I wanted to check how much I, I would need. Like, here, I'll show you guys. Let's go to Torigot. Let's go to Tora's house. Okay. Basically, okay, where, where's Poppy? Yep, I thought okay, they're over here. Whoops. Yeah, so here, um, you see this not it did this 50 volt battery. Um, what this does is this does it by um 60 percent. So you know, so I just yeah, so I did it four times basically. All right, and now the quest should be done, I believe. Here it is, this is it. Internal pressure remain stable. Dad upon, crank up voltage a bit further. Tora, increasing load even more may be dangerous. Level's not there yet, Dad upon. We not cross the line, but we step on it. Okay, Lila, look. Closely at Mita Duda. Yes, Master Pan. Hoo hoo! Preparations are prepared. Lila, hit switch. Roger, Master Pan. Okay, Poppy. Wakey, wakey! Hey, what's this? Leaving us in the dark? <laughs> I... I can't see a thing! What? Did something go wrong? I don't know. The lights went out the first time we started Poppy up too, remember? Isn't it taking a bit long, though? Ah, yeah. Whoa! What? What is it? <coughs> was that a lightning bolt or something? I mean, it sure was. Everyone <laughs> okay? I'm okay. But what about Poppy? How's she doing? This is Poppy's third form. <laughs> Woohoo! Success! Look! Glorious birth of Poppy Cutie Pie! Mm. <clears throat> ah. Good morning, everybody. Uh, she sounds uh, like a normal human, actually. Morning! So. This is the new Poppy? Cool! I'm starting to think there's something in Tora's science malarkey after all! <laughs> Poppy's an adult now. Talk about a growth spit. What's up, Nia? Jealous much? <laughs> Shut it, Zeke. Unless you want me to remodel your face. <laughs> Come, Poppy! <laughs> Give us demonstration of new power! 
Roger, Roger, Master Parn. Uh oh, what is she doing? No. <laughs> Master Pon has own legs! Master Pon have very short legs. Much more efficient like this when Master Pon travel with Poppy. <laughs> this very silly! And big disrespect to your Master Pon! <laughs> you look like Poppy's little teddy bear there, Tori. <laughs> Tori is not little teddy bear! <laughs> Put Tori down, Poppy! Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> hey, it's not so bad. At least you don't have to walk. That is true. I mean, he was Toy complaining about not, not like... walking back, like, back in, like, chapter uh, 4, I think. Like, it was in a heart-to-heart. Tori is grown-up big adult! Poppy, come on! Poppy! So now we can use Poppy's new form. This this is gonna be Tora's final blade. Um, here now. Um, now I'll probably show you guys. Okay, well, let's let the quest finish first. Okay. And now we can use um, you know, this pop. Um, let's just go to. Now we have access to this Poppy. Yay! This is a very powerful Poppy. Now, you know, if I need to use her, I'll probably put on a chip. I'm not, again, I don't really plan on choosing Tora for the rest of the game, so I won't be that demonstrating her in the story. But, you know, what do you call, post-game, I will show, you know, you know, using this Poppy. But yeah, but yeah, but but, but this Poppy can, like, you know, when you customize it well, she can be very powerful. In fact, and in fact, the, the biggest reason why she's very powerful is because you see Tora, he can do the entire driver combo, um, like, all by himself. So, you know, so she's gonna break. And then, and then, um, normal pop, and then Poppy Alpha is going to topple, and then, then Poppy Cutie Pie is going to launch, and then Poppy, um, QT is going to smash. So, he can basically do the entire driver combo all by himself, which also, and on top of that, this is, this break is, I think, a three hit break, which means that you have, um, like, your chance of actually breaking is three times as much as everyone else's, because, um, yeah. Plus, Tora has the highest luck out of anyone else like just by default so so that helps him you know be the best breaker as well but yeah um so yeah so, so that was poppy now what i'm what I'm going to do is i'm going to do a some heart to heart and then i'm going to do Harold's side quest now by side quest i mean to unlock Harold. um she's actually um there's a special way to unlock her and Harold, she is very very powerful she's basically Budget Cosmos, and if you guys don't know, Cosmos is like like the top one of the, the top five blades in the entire game, and that too she's not DLC. While Herald is like a it's like a slightly worse version of Cosmos. They're both Ether cannons, and however, Co um, Herald's level one move is sixteen hits. <laughs> yes, I said that's right, sixteen hits. So it's b very powerful. Now, um, again, um, Ether cannons are best on Zeke. Um. However, um, for our for our case, I'm gonna use him on Nia. They're, they're, um, they're not bad on Nia. I think they're second best on Nia. Um, so yeah, um, so Zeke is the best, and she's a s second best with them. Anyways, um, so we're going to do some heart to heart. So let me go to Argentum first and do the and do this heart to heart. Um, yeah, so I'll do a few heart to hearts and then I'll do that quest. And you know, there's just probably gonna be a little short episode. Let's I can probably, I can, I Let's can tell going. by just, by just you know, seeing this now. Hold on, thing. Let just, okay. But I don't really care. Okay. I've. Azami. Okay. Nice. Okay. Oh, well, I, everything. Okay. I feel I can go far. Um. Okay. Okay, come on. I'm really? I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so basically, um, we're gonna do this heart to heart. Probably gonna need to have Adamine on first. So. You put Adamine on. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it on. Um, I don't know. I'll put it on. I'll put it on Rex for right now. You just leave it to me. I'll use my brains Doesn't to really put matter. this team to good use. But you just need to have her on. Nope. Wrong button.
This is the place. Hello, friend. What are you looking for today? Well, I heard you might have got your hands on some ancient tomes or history books recently. Friend must have good sources. We obtained very rare books recently. Many books you find nowhere else. Oh, don't say that. You'll start getting me excited. Please take time and look around. Palala think you'd be satisfied. You couldn't stop me if you tried. Now, let's see what we have here. Uh... Wow! It's not just books. You've even got stone tablets and scrolls. Ooh, what's this? A history of Ardanian architecture? I've never seen anything quite like this before. It sets my curiosity tingling. Hello, Palella. You obtain book I asked for, me hopes. Ah, always a pleasure to be at service of friend. Book you asked for should be arrived recently. Palala see. Ah, there you see. Girl over there holding book right now. What's this now? Awfully sorry to bother, friend. That there is book I looking for. Hand over now, please. Oh, sorry, but I'm quite interested in this one myself. Oh, this is going to be a little fight. Any apology, but me request this book specially before you. Now give book here. I don't think so. I picked it up before you did. Oh. <laughs> Friend is big dumb dumb. That book belonged to me. Excuse me? Who are you calling a dumb dumb? Do you have any idea who you're speaking to? Me have no clue who you are. Not care either. Now hurry up Ouch. and handbook over. You really don't know how to ask for a favor, do you? All right, tell you what. I'll give you your precious book. As well you should. See, it's not so hard to be... However, that's only if you manage to beat me in a test of knowledge. <laughs> you think you're cleverer than me? This guy sounds like Mui Mui. <laughs> Very foolish girl. <laughs> but so be it. I not back down from challenge. Good. Then we'll need a subject category. Must get fair, impartial opinion. Let us ask driver over there to choose. Yes, let's ask Adamine's driver. <laughs> uh, let's do this one, because we're in our Argentum. History of Argentum, of course. Ah, yes, a wonderful idea. Then shall we begin? It is said that Argentum was originally founded by a Nopon merchant, yes? Even Little Pond know that. Was not just merchant either. Was driver too. Oh wow. Indeed. So, this Nopon driver... Are you aware of how he used his blade not as a tool of war, but as a trade associate? Wartime was very chaotic time. Argentum founder used blade's power to great effect. He go to crisis areas affected by strife or disaster and form trading links where none exist. Very profitable. And that not all. Argentum founder is said to be descended from none other than Captain Nopapon. Captain Nopapon was legendary sailor who conquer all of Cloud Sea. Also said to have founded what later become Nopon Trade Guild. Considering the feats of his ancestor, it is perhaps no wonder that this Nopon driver went on to found the Argentum Trade Guild. I must say I'm impressed. Your knowledge extends much further than I gave you credit for. Such flattering. I just as impressed with your knowledge. Not many people out there who are able to keep up with my history discussions. Shall we consider this a draw? Certain. Certainly. Could not possibly decide winner after such fine showing. What the hell just happened? <laughs> so, who will be buying book then? <laughs> I let friend have this book. Huh? To be read 
I such Ah, uh, this is going to be no no you have it. No no no, no you have it. This book. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no, I'll she actually said okay, I'll, I'll keep it. Okay. And if we have opportunity, would like to have heated discussion again. As would I. I'll try to expand my knowledge even further by the next time we meet. Oh boy, okay, so... Well then. Okay, that's it. It looks like I'll be buying this. Thanks very much. Book costs 70,000 huh? G. What? Wow, that's surprisingly affordable. No, it's not. We don't... That, that's like all our cash. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm clean out of cash. <laughs> Well, that was a Jerry Steinfeld laugh moment, basically. <laughs> All right, now uh, Adamine. Uh, this should be. Yep, that should be unlocked. Anyone who lifts a finger, claw, or other All right, this is her. Um, is dead meat. This is her side quest. Okay, though. No, okay, so now let's see what hard hard do I want to do next? Um, okay, we're, we're gonna go to Tantau and we're going to sleep at the inn, actually. Let's rest the spell. Can't hang around. Uh, let's just sleep. No need to level up. We just need to sleep. Okay, it's all right. This is not the one I want to do. I don't want to do this hard tar. This, this, this was not that interesting. Um, Good so. morning. Well, to I me at least. Or anything. But yeah, all right. Ugh, I want to do. All right, like let's see if I can get the uh, the one that I want to, to pop up. Yeah, basically, you know, by by sleeping at the inn is 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 how the hard tars they pop up, or some of them will are, will just be there, while others you have to like you know actually like pop up. You certainly seem well nope. rested. Nope. Uh, I'm morning. going to assume I. Yes. I'm very then well. there must be another way to activate that heart card, which I don't know at the moment. Then. Whoops. Okay. Well, whatever. That's fine. Well, I guess I'll do. A, I'm not, I guess I'll do the last one then. All right. We're gonna do one more heart to heart, and this is in uh, Gormont, actually. Let's go to Gormont. And this one is right over here. This one is the one by but the one you saw right now, actually. Keep a close eye out for trouble. Where do we go from here? So it's the one which is like which you guys see. And how to get there is like this. So you want to climb up here, actually, first. And after you've climbed up here, oh no 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 no! What are you doing, man? Okay, you wanna? I think you can just uh, jump over uh, here, actually. Huh. Yep. And after you've gone here, you wanna you wanna jump onto this windmill over here. And then you wanna climb up here. I'll climb up here again. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so let me just equip Pandoria on. Um, gonna put it on Rex so that. Um, Please be good to me. Just so that it's easier. Um, yeah. Amazing. You get a great view of the town from here, eh? Told you so. When the Zikinator says there's a good view, he doesn't lie. Matter of fact, it's the best view in all of Toragoth. You're not from here, are you, Zeke? I mean, he's from Tantel, so yeah, he's not from here. You seem to know quite a lot about the place. Sorry about that, I was just yawning. Well, you see... 
Last time I was here, the old geese at the inn gave me the lowdown. Oh, right. You used to travel all over the place, didn't you? Do you know a lot about other places apart from Gormont, then? Oh, yes. You wouldn't believe some of the things I've seen. But listen, I want you to tell me something. What does this scenery right here make you think of? Let's see. Um, we'll pick it's this one. It's such a big, lively town. Yeah. Hmm. Sure. But you know, that's just a facade. It's what they want you to see. A facade? Yeah, exactly. Like, you know Gormot's a colony of Morad Dane right now? Well, the only reason the town looks so lively is because Morad Dane has a military base here. Most other settlements in Gormot, everyone's doing hard work like farming and lumberjacking. And most of what they produce, they export to Morad Dane. It's quite a tough life here. A lot of folks are struggling. Hmm. And it's not just Gormot either. I've seen a good few dark underbellies on my travels, no doubt about it. Did you ever try to help those people out? Ah, so many times. I had it in my head that the Zekonator had the power to fix anything. But fancy sword skills and titles, they aren't much use to most folks. I was trying to save the world alone, but what happened is that reality bit me on the ass. Hey, don't look at it like that. Huh? Sure. Maybe you don't have the power to save the whole world right now. But there are definitely people out there that you have helped. Me and Pyra for a start. So Z, don't ever give up. Don't forget. You've got some people you can count on now. Yeah, you're right. You really are. I don't know what I was thinking. It's not just the Zekonator now. I've got you guys watching my back. Some of the things I couldn't do back then might even be possible now. Right? So let's keep doing what we can. All of us, together. Yeah, I just gotta put my back into it. Look out, world! The Zekonator's coming to rock your socks off! <laughs> Whew. That sure felt good. Your turn, Rex. Let your manifesto out. Um, I'm going to get Pyra and Mithra to Elysium or die trying. Yeah! <laughs> what are you two doing? You're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was the last heart to heart that, uh, that I want to do right now. All right, now let us move on to. Let actually do, let's go back to Tantel, and uh, let's do this side quest, or 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 let's get Harold. Now I'm again I'm gonna put Harold on Nia because I want because I don't because I don't really want to play as uh, or or the way I've set up is I'm, I'm gonna finish the, going. the game with while playing you know as Rex, Morag, and Nia right, basically. All right, so how you you know go to the area is you wanna oh. is you wanna come down here, right? And you wanna walk over here. All right, and to let probably we should, we should probably put on Z Zenobia, but that'll make things a lot easier. Where is Zenobia? I've been so bored. I was about to go out hunting solo. Use my power. My turn. Whoa! Puffy power! Okay. Let's put on, um... Wolfric as well. It sounds fun. Alright, that should be enough, hopefully. Um... Earth, grant me strength. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Okay. 
All right, now this is not so we have the shrine of you know this thing. Now each of these things, I believe they only do one thing, or or like like even the rare one like this. Um, yeah, so every one of these things, like like what you want to do is you want to collect these and, and until you have a hundred of of at least you know all these combined. Now the 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 easiest one is actually black pomegranate, and I'll show you where that is. Um, and yeah, now. I, yeah, uh, so here is black, and so so black pomegranate is actually found in Uriah actually, and in fact at the stomach area, uh, at uh, this fast point, uh, Urna the Elderwood, and I would have the botany field skill on so that you know so you get a lot you know or you get more in you know in less time. Keep a close eye out for trouble. So I'm just gonna Where equip go botany here? blades on. Um, start with Zeke. Excuse me, um, um, let us do this for a second, um, I'm sure it'll work out great. Trying to do something, uh, where is Bridget? Ah, is she not here? She is supposed to be here. Ah, okay, whatever. Let's just do it this way, okay? There she is. I will do my best. Okay. To prove my I work. just wanted to remove, remove her so that I can put on a botany blade. Okay. Um, botany. Okay. You can count on me. Looking forward to it. I am at your service. Thanks. I'll do my best. Okay. All right, so basically these are the two, you know, I um, mean, you know, collection out. points. This one. Searching database. Okay, I guess this one is f f uh, forestry um as well. Whoops, I guess this one's forestry and this one is um um what have we here? botany. Please open your hearts to me. Flora heals an I'll aching. give it a shot. Anyways, uh, either way. So basically, you know, so after you get a hundred, so I'm just gonna fast travel to like when I actually, you know, get a hundred of these or, or about a hundred. So you guys don't have to watch me just keep doing this again and again. But yeah, so, so we'll be back after we reach a hundred. Alright, so I grinded and I, you know, I got all the mechs left for, you know, one because I'm gonna do it so that, you know, so it doesn't go ahead. But yeah, so after you got all, all the ingredients, either from Black Pomegranate or, or you may have these other ones as well, you know. But yeah, so after you do it. Um, you should get a core crystal, yeah. So um, this is gonna be Harold's core crystal. And then again, um, I do recommend that you use this on Zeke. Um, you know, if you want to, you know, get the full, the like the most best out of her. Uh, however, I'm gonna use on Nia because, uh, because uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, I, I wanna play as Nia, or by play, I mean I, I want her in my party. And she's, oh wait, I, I should have not skipped this. Whoops, I'm very sorry about that. I. So yeah, but this is Harold. Um, yeah, she is very powerful. Um, in fact, we're going to give her. Um, actually, going to set her on as the. I will carry out my mission. You just leave it to me. I'll use my I will, to put this team to good I'm use. I'm going to put her as the you know the third blade for Nia. Now, while we're at it, I am going to try to find what a good uh, chip for Harold is. Let's see what I can come up with. Um, let's see if I have any. Let's see if I have any which are, might be decent enough for her. Okay. Well, no, we don't. Okay, whatever. That's fine. I'm going to go to a land, a Cliffs of Morta and buy the um, the OP chip. <clears throat> no, before we go, there is one last hard tart which I, I just remembered. Um, that was a slog. No, I'm not. I don't care about that. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Which one for Harold? Okay. So let's see. Which one is probably best on her? Uh, gotta say this one is best on her. This one, yeah. And while we're at it, I'm going to equip fun. the blade which I will actually use, you know, instead of the... No, wait, no, that's not the blade I'm going to use. 
That's very kind of you. Uh, let's use... I will do my best to prove my worth. Okay, where are we off to? Hello there. Okay, where are we off to? Okay, um, that is good. Okay, so this is a hard chart, which which we which we will probably do actually now only um, but yeah, but yeah. So I'm gonna just uh, you know, do this. So I'll do the so I'll do this hard chart and I'll do the one with Harold and yeah, and then we'll call it a day for this episode. Hard chart is right over here. It's the dawn of a new day. Another day in the life of Corbin. What will he do next? So there you are, Morag. Is something wrong? No, not at all. I've just any oh, particular sorry, words. Sorry, I, I skipped that by accident. Uh, it's just my brother, Emperor Nile. Is he okay? I'm concerned he'll wear himself out. The Emperor is quite young, isn't he? Yeah, he's like a teenager if I'm correct. Yes. The weight of responsibility is a heavy burden for someone his age. Have you two spoken recently? Well, as Special Inquisitor, I sent him reports almost daily. No, I mean... Just... Talk. Like siblings do. Chat about family stuff. Things like that. Talk like siblings do. It may shock you, but neither me nor the Emperor are great at small talk. Don't overthink it. You can talk about anything, so long as it's not work. You should just go drop in. The Emperor is a very busy person. Engaging in idle chit-chat with me, that would be a waste of his time. Let's see... let's do this one? Surely even the great Emperor Nile would be happy to see his big sis. Thank you, Pyra. Alas, my brother and I are hardly your average family. His Imperial Majesty and his retainer, the Special Inquisitor. Our stations differ greatly, as do our ways of life. We couldn't possibly expect to talk like normal siblings. Oh, give me a break. You think your stations trump your relationship as brother and sister? Hey, where'd she come from? <laughs> Mithra, when did you... I couldn't listen to you anymore. You're family, aren't you? You and Emperor Nile? Emperor or not, he's your brother, first and foremost. What more is there to think about? Even so, it has been a long time since we've acted as siblings. Look at me and Pyra. We haven't exactly been in touch all that much. And now, we're rock solid. That's not exactly. Shut it. Oh, shit. You being worried about your brother <laughs> makes you family enough. Your stations don't come into it. She, you know, she does have a point, you know, family is important. Just woman up and be a good sister already. Oh. <clears throat> Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right, obviously. Yeah, she knows she's Mithra, she's obviously right. 
Just enjoy some time with your little bro and spoil him rotten. That's it. Very well. Then I will strive to be the sister Nile deserves. You better be ready the next time you two meet. I will. I promise. Fine. You've made some progress. You and Rex both get so stuck in your heads. It's infuriating. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the pep talk, Mithra. You're very welcome. All right, now we're gonna do one last one in Tantal. It's with Harold. Um, no, though I don't know how to activate that one. Okay, actually, no. I just walk over there. So yeah, so you know, ju judging by where we are now, we definitely Let's are go. going to co continue the um the um the story next time, and that too, like like uh, like uh, I don't mean like like eventually. I mean, like, when we start the next time or the, or the next episode, we will start the story. But yeah, I'm surprised there's no staircase. Like, like it's just a jump from there. Alright, this is the heart to heart. So, you have awakened the sealed blade. Your Majesty. It's been quite some time since I last saw this place. We used to play here as children, you know. Tell me, do you know why it is that the Ospiti Temple was destroyed? Beats me. It's because a blade went berserk. They say that the blade was so powerful its driver couldn't hope to control it. There was nothing anyone could do. The incident was resolved when the driver took their own life. Oh, damn, that is dark. With that, the blade was sealed within its core crystal. And as a warning to future generations, it was buried here in the temple where the tragedy took place. You mean, the blade that went berserk is... Your suspicions are correct. The blade was Herald. I have no memory of the event, but I believe it to be true. At times, I feel something. This is the same VA as, uh, what do you call, Petroka. I feel like she does a much better job with her than she did with, um, with Petroka herself, actually. <laughs> a kind of limitless power dwelling within me your majesty you may punish me however you see fit even if it means breaking my core crystal into a thousand pieces and burying me for all eternity um let's see i'll keep you in check i think this I'll is keep a you in check. i think this is a this is a uh, strong or a wise thing to say nia haha <laughs> Just as I thought. Listen well, Herald. I believe your driver trusts you deeply. And I trust your driver just the same. Even if you had some recollection of the past, you need not dwell on it. Don't let yourself be chained to the past. Become your driver's strength. That's all I ask. But still, I have to atone somehow. I understand how you feel. But you must remember that there are many ways to atone for one's sins. Aiding your driver in the fierce battles to come is one such way. You think so? Yet we need you, Harold. No point crying over spilt milk. Come with us. Fight with us. All right. I'll try. Worry not. Whatever happens, just remember, you have an esteemed driver by your side. Your Majesty, thank you. Think nothing of it. 
I expect great things of you. All right, that is all for this episode. Um, yeah. Now again, today was a, I will admit kind of dry. But I mean, I mean, I mean, like it was dry for a reason, like because you know, because I wanted to get all of the all of these, these um were stuff done, reason. like these heart to heart and etc. But yeah, um, yeah. So next time, uh, we will definitely move on for the story. And by the and I hopefully by the ne next episode, I'm, I'm actually gonna try to max out her level one. I think I uh, no, I can't. I, I it's a side quest, so we'll pull the side quest some other time. But yeah, but basically, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to you know fill out this part, this one at least, or up till here, I guess. Um, it shouldn't be that hard because just doing a special, so yeah, that should be fine. And yeah, and her level 2 and 3 are not really that much worth it because her level 1 is just like godly. <laughs> and yeah, um, also this one, this is, is probably one to do, do this as well, and etc. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys later.